Hello everyone and welcome to Ginger Big Gaming, it's Richard here and I bring to you Go United! Hi guys, uh, some good in good news for you, well there's quite a lot of changes I've got to show you actually in this video. Uh, let's have a quick look at the results first, shall we? Uh, oh, just dropped my pen. Alright, um, here we are, 4-1 I won my last game against Greens Hill FC but I only moved up one place because all the teams above me basically won apart from Pyman and Villa who were... Uh, drop from first to fourth and I'm three points behind the top three teams at the moment uh, still but I'm playing the team above me next who are Donmore Athletic who are in fifth position so I'm playing them next I've got to win that game really if I can uh, keep on the promotion charge because I've changed my team around for the uh, the benefit really I just want to show you my team's changed quite a little bit here you'll see some new goal scorers that I've actually brought in um, Anyway, my old defender scored two goals, which is nice, and then two new players scored for me. One from midfield and one one was a striker. If we just look at him here, yes, I bought an old player, as you can see. Uh, it didn't cost me too much money, actually. It cost me about, I don't know, I'll have a look in a minute. But uh, <laughs> it was over five million. It's about three million, maybe, or something like that. But you can see my, my bank balance has gone down to 5.5 million. So I've been very busy on the transfer market. Um, Anyway, I brought him in to strengthen my midfield up. He's like holding the centre of midfield for me. Uh, he's an 8.2 and he's got lots of experience. Um, I've always said go for the young players, but that's basically the truth if you want to build up a lot of money. Get as young players as you can and train them as fast as you can. Uh, but the old players are not going to... These players won't give me extra money. They'll just hopefully get me more chance of promotion. And I also had this player brought in, a level 8 strength. Uh, he's age 29, he's a bit younger, he's got a lot of goals, he's, he's, got two, he's scored 217 in 290 g games, which reminds me a bit of uh, old Cumberbatch, and also he's free kit taken, he's a free kit taker, that's why, why I really got him, because I haven't really got a good free kit taker, and uh, his shooting is 100, and uh, I'm just training that last talent now at the moment, it's already at 70%, I bought him like that, um, and we had it didn't make a massive difference bringing in these new players actually I brought f how many players have I bought four uh, and it, we had the same amount of shots but the possession had a bit better a lot better really um, or five percent and a successful rate was better so it made the difference in the end but the shots were still the same so it could have gone either way um, we played the same amount same tactic kick and rush and I was only two ratings higher than him so uh, it was just about beat this team and I played 125% effort to uh, ensure that I did it uh, anybody tried this United GP yet because uh, I keep seeing it but I've not I've not even looked at it um, as you can see my t attendance is 80,967 which is quite nice so let's go and let's have, have a look at the stadium first big big changes here this is where a lot of my money's gone into. Um, actually, I'll just click that. So I want to save my current screenshot. And my, my ground rating, stadium rating, is now 5 out of 5. Uh, I've even updated the pitch to the heated specialised turf, um, which is quite expensive per week to run, but I've ended up spending all my money. So all this is basically all my facilities, my stadium, everything's been uh, upgraded to the max. The only thing I can really change now is the themes, uh, which I can change with stars. Like I could get the canyons, which give me two two reputation. But I want to he head for this one right at the end end of time end of time. But it's a level seventy five, and they've not got much to build now, so it's going to take a long time uh, to get there. But if you let's have a look at the balance sheet in that last game, eighty thousand um, gave me a spectator spectator income of one point four and a half million uh, and it's showing me now that I've got a risk of injury is very low uh, my stadium value itself is worth 41 million so uh, I hope I hope when they bring the goal United next out there's something I can actually build just to uh, uh, oh, what's happened there uh, yeah something I can build to uh, just do something like uh, but now I can concentrate fully on my team uh, Yes, I was holding off for a while, wasn't I? So I needed to do that. Uh, but let's have a look at the club. Let's have a look at my 
recent transfers. Oh, just uh, hang on, we'll have a look at the stats now. My team's value is worth 193 million. So I've brought these new players in, four players, but they've not really made a massive impact on my team value. Because uh, they are, as I say, a bit older. Uh, <clears throat> well, this is this is the guy that I brought in for 20 million, a 25 year old. I could have spent that a bit wiser, I think, if I'd gone for like cheaper players but older. But uh, it doesn't matter really. He'll be in my team for at least. I'm going to get six years out of him. No, definitely. <clears throat> um, I've decided now that I've got to go with the old guys and the youth guys in the same team. And hopefully I can get some sort of promotion rush going on here. Anyway, so I brought him in. He was my defensive midfielder for 19 million, or 20 million. Uh, he was a ranking of 7.4, age of 25. And I've actually bought a winger as well. He was on the left. He's a left footer. He's 27. And uh, he cost me... He's a rating 7 as well. Yes, he's a 9.2 million. And this 32-year-old, who actually played the best on the pitch in the last game, uh, is 8.2. Um, and he, cost, he only cost me uh, 2.5 million. And then I bought a striker that had the ability of talent for a shoot, free kick, sorry. Um, and he just cost me 7.2 million. But also my, where's that winger? This winger here has a fully trained out talents of uh, corner taking, which is pretty impressive really. That's what I needed. So I've got a corner taker, free kick taker, and uh, I've got a penalty taker that's only got one, but you know, he's, the old, he's one of my young players. Uh, yeah, so if you look at him now, I've got to just train him up 30% to get him to full. And uh, it's looking quite nice now at the moment. I've got a good balance of the team, but I've had to. I've been playing around with players like midfielders, followers. I've put him as a winger. I'm trying to train his winging up. Uh, Walder, I've dropped into a winger, winging position as well. He's training just to give the team a bit more of a flexibility in where I can play different players. Uh, but if it's my strike force still letting me down at the moment, even though I've got a new striker up front. But if we just look at the last game, I just sorry about this. Let's have a look at the stats of each player um, my goalkeeping's rating 52 but I'm looking at the ratings here the scoring uh, my new guy the 32 year old who got a yellow card and scored a goal he's, uh, <laughs> he's got the best rating of 76 so that was nice actually for such an old player uh, I've got a 20, 25 year old got the who I signed as well in the previous video a 67 rating my winger got a 63 rating um, I play him wide on the wing I've never really used wingers before, but uh, he's more of an attacking winger. And then my striker, who's um, the good free kick taker, he's 29. He's, um, yeah, he got a 70 rating. But if you look here now, I've got a Shane Croft rating 38, which is very poor, really. He shouldn't even be in my team, but I just can't drop him because he's such a young player with such a amazing potential ability just look at him now Shane Croft he's uh, dropped down to 8 million but he's I know, he's, I know his um, experience is 15 but I just keep wanting to work on him and keep playing him and he's going to come good at the end I know he is he's both footed as well I need him on the left so uh, you know I could always play Walder back in his position but he's only a 4.6 when I play him as a striker so you know I just have to keep with this team, I think, and see how it gets gets me. Um, I'm training goalkeepers, as, as I said before. I've changed my t training a little bit. So my goalkeeping now has gone up to 73. I'm really wanting to get him up to about 90s. It would be nice if I can do that and get him into a good strength position of 7s. I need to get him to, into 7. Uh, and he's only 21, so he's good, definitely going to get me there. Uh, and then it's just, I look at my team now and I think, well... I've got a few. Se I've got at least on most of my players at least f three to four, f some five seasons in uh, the experienced players anyway. And then I'm gonna have to like I know he's 32, but I think I'm only gonna get about a seat. Well, I get probably two seasons out of him if I'm lucky. Uh, but yeah, he'll be definitely going out the door within two seasons because I think the skills just drop rapidly. Uh, you'll see these skills coming down. So that'd be quite an interesting experiment to just see how quickly a player of that calibre drops when he ages. Uh, I don't see his birthday to the 10th of the 10th, so hopefully it's not going to go down for a while. Um, 
And Jesty, he's still scoring goals for me. He's playing in midfield. Obviously, I could play him as a striker as well. Uh, I think he's a rating 6.6 .6 as a striker, so he could play in Croft's position, and I could find a, a, another midfielder. But I'm not, I'm not bothering. I'm just going to leave it like that. I think Jesty's going to benefit more. He's gone up actually two skill points, actually, thinking about that in playmaking. He was 49 and now he's 51. So that's quite nice. Uh, anyway, let's go back into the, the league. I just want to quickly, quickly I say, show you the youth league. I'm actually top of the youth league. I last, I'm just smashing it at the moment, but Pyman Villa who won it last season. Hot on my heels. So we're going to see how that fares when, he, when I face him this, this season. Uh, I've got a lot of talent coming through, but I, don't, I just haven't got the space to put them in anymore, the youth players. Um, the top goal scorers, I think I've got a player, yeah, Jesty. Jesty scored three goals from central midfield, uh, from attacking midfield, sorry. Um, so that's pretty impressive. He's scoring more in midfield than he did as a striker. <laughs> right, what should I show you next? Have I got anything else to show you? Yes, I have. Achievements, that's what we want to see. Right, with all the building and different things I've been doing, I've got a few achievements here. Architect, 9 of 9. All stadium pieces, including lawn, built up to at least a level 4. And it's given me a 1,000 uh, points and a plus a 1,000 stars to spend off um, a facility that I can't build because I'm maxed out. So that's a waste of time. But, <laughs> but then I got the, uh, the club machine from building everything, basically. It's just a gather of all these uh, achievements put together that that I've accumulated over time and uh, that gave me a um, 250 um, from building upgrading everything up uh, start architect 9 of 9 all stadium pieces including the lawn is built up to at least a level 5 so that gave me 2500 in the title of tycoon and then Master Builder, 9 of 9 again. All stadium sections, including turf, are upgraded to at least level 3. But it, all that was holding that back was my turf. I wasn't uh, upgrading my lawn. Why does one say it's a lawn and one call it turf? Anyway. <laughs> so basically, it's, it's increased my achievements now to 104 of 122. Uh, still a lot to go, really. The absolute pro ones are still the ones I need to aim for, really. Um what do I need to get now I've got I've actually added another addition to my squad as well it must be from somewhere um, my next target goal getter of the century that's going to be hard 28 goals and they're coming from midfielder from a midfielder at the moment cup fever that's not going to be for a while especially now I've been knocked out uh, I wish I just made these signings just before I went out of the international masters and cup but never mind if the next season we'll be on it um and also, I need to get to worth 400 million. My team, 400 million. That's going to be a long way away now. I've spent my money. Uh, but I can't really achieve anything else in the career anyway. There's nothing coming up that I'm going to benefit from. It's 8,000 points at level 66 if you're interested in it. It's going to take a long time. A long time to get to 76. I think it was that I wanted to get to. Anyway, guys, so that's basically everything covered, I hope. Uh, I've just got to juggle players around and hopefully this team's going to take me places because I haven't got much money left, 5.5 .5 million. I could bring one more player in, one experienced player, another striker maybe. If I just want to play Croft as a rotational player, bring him into the weaker games and put you know put a stronger guy in for the hard games. Uh, but he's going up pretty quick. If I just have a quick look at my, my training... Oh yeah, I'm training talent, improved talent cards. I'm playing every day at the moment just to see if I can get that guy up to uh, five uh, star, five talent on his uh, free kick taking. But if we look at individual values and quickly have a look at Croft, and if we look at his uh, strength when he came through the youth team as a free, uh, I'm thirtieth of the six, so it's only like you know a month and a half ago, uh, and he's risen. To a three point eight in that time, so I just I just want to keep playing him because he's gonna he's gonna benefit me in the future. So I might as well just keep risking it. I've got I've got the team around him to play him, but he's not scored a goal, which is pretty pathetic, really. <laughs> he's played seven, scored none, and that's that's my striker for the future. 
<laughs> yes, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. So if we just have a look at my youth team, I've got a 2.4 and a 2.2 coming through in the next game. I've got a 2 rating goalkeeper, which I could do with bringing in. A 2 rating midfielder. But I've got no, like I say, I've got no space. Uh, last game I won 14-1. It's a really good team this year. Uh, but when we look at my team now, I'm thinking like, who am I going to sell? I don't really want to get rid of anyone because it, well, I could get rid of this 2.6 and just make profit on him. Or should I train him up and then sell him, you know? you know, I don't know what to do now. We might have to sell. Is anybody really bad in this team? Well, yeah, I suppose it is at 2.6. 3.2, but it's, it's, uh, it's training up for me. Um, oh, is it worth selling him or maybe keeping this guy? Will he become potentially better? Probably, probably. Right, don't worry, I'm just talking to myself now. I shouldn't really uh, record these things when I'm making decisions. But yes, my, my team's now 26. I can fit into the team. Uh, and all my additional redeem coupons have been used. Ah, that's just reminded me, I might start a tournament or something, or a cup maybe between us all. I might invite you all, see uh, that might be the, the next thing to do. If anybody's interested in that, we'll just have to see how it goes. Uh, I'll have to do it later today or something, maybe. Anyway. Right, back to the buddies list. Let's have a quick look. We was up to Mark, but we've done Mark, sorry, um, who won his last game. Fantastically, I've just got to quickly show him because he's my mate. Can't let him down, can I? Uh, and he won 4-2 in the difficult league, which is nice. He just beat this team here. He was sitting in eighth position and he's gone on to four points now. So it's quite nice that he's gaining points. Hopefully he can get some more momentum, Mark, and just see how he, how well you get up this table. But if you look at the top of the league, it's going to be a big uh, 83s. <clears throat> That's what I need to get to. I'm thinking, like, if I'm going to get promotion, I'm going to this type of tier... I'm going to need at least a strength level of um, 83. And my strength is currently at 76. Um, and the only improvements I can see that my team's going to benefit from now is my goalkeeping, if I can get him up to about 7. Obviously Croft, if I can get him up to about 7. And then Jesty as well, who's 4.6. He needs to go to about 7. So I can hit the 80s uh, with a bit, of a bit of team improvement through the season. So by next season... And that's going to be the telling time then. I think if I can just get them trained up enough, um, that'd be fine. Anyway, back to the buddies list. I, I'm waffling on like a waffler. Anyway, <laughs> let's have a look at Vince's team. As we know, Vince was one of my first subscribers. He's given me... A, he woke me up actually in this game. He said, come on, get spending your money. So I basically have spent all my money. <laughs> that's all it took. I'm so easily influenced. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look at Vince's team. Sitting in second position in the German League. Strength 66 at the moment. Uh, doing very nice sitting in that position. 12, 4, 6 goals against. Um, which is okay. Let's have a look. You won 2 1. Oh, this good one in the 51st minute. It's when you start seeing a team coming back at you, you think, oh, come on, just get to full time and let's get the game over. And especially when they've only had two shots and one goes in, that's typical, typical of this game. Uh, 11 shots to 2. 66 ball per uh, ball possession passing amazing rate successful rate amazing 77 percent uh power play against kick and rush 100 percent each congratulations so that's that uh nice win sitting in second who are you playing next who do you play next the top stars who are sitting in seventh position so you've got a good chance against them hopefully you can do it uh, let's have a look at your youth league ninth position. Top goal scorers. Have we got anyone in the top goal scorers? Should have somebody here. Uh, do -do. Yeah, they got one with three goals. Sitting in joint fifth position. Quite a lot of people in there. Uh, so good luck on your next game, Vince, and hopefully you can do it. Uh, Juventus is the next team. Valder Pro. You rank first. Strength forty one. This is more improving improvement on the last video. Somebody's car alarm's going off in the background. Why does something always interrupt me now? I had a, a road sweeper last week, and now it's a car alarm. 
Anyway, it's only against bot. Uh, it's a bot league, really, isn't it? It's just a free for all, really. You, well, you got this guy following you. in for actually, they've lost. They've lost the game to a bot. Or maybe you. Maybe you. Yeah, basically, it would be you, wouldn't it? Because it would be embarrassing if it was a bot. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so let's have a quick look. I know, I know it's not really worth looking at because it's destroyed the team. Even with a man sent off, he scored a goal. Six uh, one. 15 shots to 4, 88% ball possession, 125% effort. Actually, it's a good it's a good tactic to do, actually. Uh, push hard against these bots and then hopefully you can get that top goal scoring. Uh, that'd be great. Sitting in second in the youth, youth League and you've got a player in second joint second position with four goals. Obviously, you've got a few more down here. Three goals, two goals, two goals. Two goals, so you've got quite a lot of uh, players scoring goals for you. And hopefully you can build on this guy who's got four goals for you at the moment and hopefully get it up to uh, 28 goals in the season. It's quite possible. It's going, you need to score at least, uh, well, you need you need two two here and there in each game. Um, anyway, good luck. Well, I don't have to say good luck for the next game. You're going to destroy them. Uh, I think you've got this, this one. <laughs> anyway... So that's in the uh, Serbia League, isn't it? Yes, I couldn't remember. Right, so that's that team covered. Juventus. Um, oh, we've had a new addition added to uh, the buddies list. We've had a few, actually. If you look now, the buddies list is up to 30. So uh, keep them coming. Keep bringing people in. If you know anybody, just pass it on. I don't know. I don't really advertise it. So uh, it's been quite, quite a lot of uh, response recently. Uh, a lot of people joining. Anyway, let's have a look at this. Ghost United sitting in 11th position, strength 34. Uh, established the team 28th for the first 2012. Let's have a quick look at your rank. I like I liked your logo by the way. Was it a gargoyle or something? I wasn't really looking. Oh yeah, some sort of zombie thing. Monster. Yeah, it's creepy. <laughs> but I do like it. Uh, you haven't won a game or drawn a game yet, but you've, uh, you've probably gone... You got promotion into a league. It's always going to be difficult. Let's have a look at that. 68 is winning the league. And your strength is, well, 34, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, so, did, hang on, let's have a look at this. Is this a restart? I don't know if that means restarting you, like rebuilding your team. Let's have a quick look at that. Transfers, you've sold a few players, haven't you? Um, and brought some new ones in. So, hopefully they'll benefit you in time. Unless these are just cheap buys just to get your experience going up and your career, which I used to do. I used to buy players at 5,000 just to bring up the uh, career level faster and just sell them after three days. Every three days I used to buy buy five players and sell them off and then buy another five and just keep doing that until you get your, your points up because it's worth it. It's worth a lot of points over time. Uh, anyway, so you're sitting in the 11th position Let's quickly have a look at your last game. You only lost 1 0. Unfortunately, in the 85th minute, it came in. Oh, it's quite an even game, actually. Only two shots to one. That must have been such an, a boring game to watch as a fan. I mean, just imagine that as a fan. You just see three shots. <laughs> but uh, your ball possession was a lot less. So you did very well to contain them, uh, keeping the shots down. And they played 125% against you as well. So. Uh, and you had no tactics, so that's pretty decent. That really, you could have, uh, you could have got a, got a point from that. Unfortunately, you didn't. But uh, good luck on your next game. Who's against? Who are you against next? It's a team in tenth, just above you. Uh, let's have a look at the youth league. Yeah, that's better. He's sitting in second in the youth league. There you go. So good future of youth players coming through. Hopefully, and let's quickly have a look at this. Not gonna have anybody with two goals, I don't think. No, uh, eighteen goals, the top team. Oh, they, them are the days when you can win a league with so many, so much confidence. Uh, anyway, good luck on your next game. You need the points on the next one if you can get them. And is that everybody covered? One, two, three, four. Oh, I'll do another one. I do lay Layla's legends as well, just to finish off the uh, the buddies list to restart from the top again. As I do, I normally go through four teams every video uh, and work my way through them. Uh, but this time I'll do five because it just finishes off the uh, the buddies list nicely. Uh, Layla's legends sitting in second. 
68 strength. Um, obviously, you got relegated last season, so you should have a good chance of promotion this season if you have not adjusted your team too much like I did at the start of the season and destroyed my team, really. Oh, I'm glad I've bought some new players and brought them back onto track, but I've got to improve. Well, eight shots against eight is still worrying me. Uh, let's have a look at your last game. You won 4-1. Against whole city AFC 40, uh, 83. Uh, 2 1, and then you just. This guy scored two more goals for you. He played a card against you as well, an encouragement card, trying to get a result from you in the second half. Um, ball possession 58 to 42. Better successful rate. Uh, both played 100%. That's quite good. And this this keeps popping into my mind. I can't I can't avoid it. It's United GP every time I log in or look at something. Uh, it's gonna probably make me have a look at it, isn't it? It's gonna force me into it. I don't know if anybody's interested in the uh, Mortal GP stuff or whatever. No Grand Prix. Um, anyway, that's that. So let's have a look at your youth league. You're sitting in second position, twelve points. So that's another team up there in the uh, doing well in the youth league. And have you got anybody in the top goal scoring? You should have. Uh, you haven't. I can't unless I've gone blind. Juventus, uh, Lele's Legends. I mean, thinking of the last team then. Sorry. Yes, yeah, so there's nobody there. So um, that's it, really. I've covered it, covered everybody, and there's 30 buddies. Let's imagine if we can get that up to like 100. They'd be very long ass videos, won't they? Or a long time. It would take seasons before we see a team that we've covered from the previous videos or something. <laughs> take a long time. But uh, I'd have to just keep. as a, It's work in progress, this really. Every time uh, I feel the videos are not quite working, I try and adjust it a little bit different. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And, uh, you know, if you're new to the game or you've just seen me on YouTube, just add me to your buddies list. Subscribe. And challenge me if you want to. Uh, I've got a challenge. I've got a few challenges this week. I'm actually going for the. Uh, I'm challenging people now from different countries that I haven't got my clubhouse. I need the achievement of 30 flags. I've got 24, I think, or something like that. So I'm cha I'm challenging someone from Finland in my next game. So I'm going to try and beat somebody from Finland, and then I need to just keep challenging people from all the uh, the countries I've not got flags from. Because I really should have them by now. Uh, so I'm going to start challenging people. I normally let people challenge me, but I'm going to have to just get this achievement and then we'll just uh, challenge me as normal if you want a game or something. But I'm definitely going to host a tournament if anybody's interested in it. Uh, probably, I'll probably send out some invites actually. I might leave it a little bit so everybody sees the video first. So maybe Monday or something I'll, I'll put a, a tournament up. How do you... I can't even remember how to do it. <laughs> but yeah, I'll sort, I'll sort a tournament out anyway. And, uh, uh, and we'll give, get some uh, a bit of fun and see, see how we get on. Anyway, guys, um, I'll see you again next time. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Bye now.